hi guys in this video i will show you how can we capture the last login date and time and the ip address of the user because uh, one uh, user has requested to me like because uh, yesterday i just captured this video about user account suspension so let me go here you can see that you can suspend and unsuspend so the user has requested like how can we capture the last login time and the last login user ip address okay so let's get started with that so it's already uh, here that code that i captured yesterday so let me go here and first of all what i will do inside the users table i need to add two more columns that's called like uh, last login at and last login ip so i can store that uh, both uh, column and i can store both uh, uh, data okay so let me go here and let me control c php artisan mac migration and add login at in users table so it's created a new migration so let me go here and go to the database migration and you can see that here added so let me go table and first of all i will use timestamp okay and then i will add new column last login at okay and by default that will be a null okay so by default like so nullable okay and save it okay and then i will add a new column that's for uh, i will use string for that and just add last login ip address and keep i will add nullable save it okay so that means we are adding two columns for last login for the timestamp and last login for the ip okay same thing i will go here and i will add for the rollback so i will say drop column for last login at same thing for the ip address save it and now let me run the migration so php artisan and migrate okay and then you can go here into the table plus go here you can see that they added last login at and last login ip address to column over there okay now what i will do i will just add this to the user model as well so let me go here and here i'm going to say at and the last underscore ip save it okay and then what i will do i will create a one functions for the update those records so copy this and i will say like last login update okay save it and then i'm going to say just last underscore login at and i will add now okay save it okay so that means current timestamp will be stored inside this column and then i will take the ip from the helper so i will use the request and then i will say ip and save it okay so that means when i call this function that will automatically update these two column okay so copy this and let me go to our login blade file so let me go here and you can see that auth login and after login like after check suspend add and all the things what i will do i will take user object and just call this function save it okay and let's see first okay so let me go here and let me log out yeah it's not working because i need to again run the server so save and let me go and go to the dashboard okay log out and then let me log in it okay click on login you can see that login successfully for the admin user and let me go here and go to the admin user refresh it now let me go and you can see that there is an ip address also taken and also last login time is also taken over here okay so now what i need to do go to the users and here i just need to update two more column okay so let me go here and add it to column so go to the user list and here i will just say last login add and last login ip save it okay and same thing i'm going to just display so last login at and last login ip save it now let me go here and refresh it and you can see that i have a last login time for this user and ip for this user let me try with this user and let's see okay so let me go to the code ignitor window and go here 
login and let me add the users and then one two three four six click on login you can see that this is a login as well now let me go here and refresh it and you can see that that also time uh, time is captured so that means like admin can watch which user is logging at the last time okay so i hope you guys you understand how easily we can do the last login time and ip address from the ip address you can get the which country which state and you can do all the things if you request then i can capture video on it as well i hope guys this video helps you if you like this then subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching guys